It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. With Daddy. Today we're going to do bacon three ways. Here is the oven method. You can see we're setting the oven to 400 degrees to get it ready to put the bacon in. We got to let it preheat, though it's the longest method of all is doing the oven version. Uh, so first we put parchment paper on a baking sheet as recommended that I saw. And we have used this method before and I do enjoy the bacon coming out of it. You can cook a lot at a time this way. Right now we're just taking a pound of bacon that I had from the store. It's the same pound for all three methods. And the first we're just going to lay the bacon on your parchment. We prefer sliced and half bacon before we cook it just because uh, it makes the pieces smaller when you eat, so you don't have to take a whole slice of bacon, even though we do really like bacon. So we set up and got about eight slices onto that baking sheet. Now here we are for the microwave version. So we've got a plate. I'm also going to use parchment paper. because I've done wax here before, but we didn't have it at this moment, so I use parchment paper. And if you take a look, you will see that now the wax paper, the plate, and the microwave only gets six slices of that bacon, whereas the oven had eight. And so for the oven, we have to start first. It takes the longest, so we're going to put it into the oven. 400 degrees is already preheated. And now we're going to set the timer for, what is it, uh, 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes, and sometimes we will check on to see how it is going, to see if the bacon is doing well. Now for the skillet method, you do want to start with a low flame and a cold pan. So you notice the pan was cold, not preheated, and then you take the cold flame. And this method, you can do more bacon at a time, depending on the size of your pan. So this one, I took all the rest of the slices, so there is five there and another five coming in. So a total of ten half slices of bacon was we able to do in the pan. Now I did double some of them up, but that doesn't matter. It's still going to cook in the same way, even if you double some up or not. Now this method, you can see, is going to take... Also quite a bit of time, as we have time lapse, you can kind of see the bacon slowly cooking. And for this method, it takes a little more, it takes a little more watching, because you got to flip it over multiple times and watch to make sure that the bacon is getting done to your likeness. So there's another set of flipping. You can see the bacon's getting a little more done as it is slowly cooking. And no need for any oil, because as you can see, the bacon produces its own. So if we take a look at the oven, you can see it's now down to the halfway mark. Is that halfway? Well, 10 minutes. Let's see how the bacon's doing. Let's, you know, I decided to flip some of it over to get um, some of the pieces more done to want to have it on the other side as well. So here we are taking the pan again. So this one takes the most time. And you can see now the oil is really hot and we got down to, you know, pretty much done. So that took about 15 minutes or so to cook in the skillet to the doneness that we like. Now we always prefer to, uh, we always prefer to pat dry our bacon using paper towels to get as much grease off of it as we can when we eat it. So we took the bacon, I put it into the uh, brownish colored bowl. So this one is, uh, now it's about the microwave's turn because you know it takes some time. We use the settings from the microwave itself to see how long we should do it. And it said three minutes and we'll check on after three minutes how the bacon looks to see if it did it well. Uh, you can see there's just a little time left on the oven. So I looked at the bacon and I said, oh, it looks pretty good. It looks well done. You can see it has all the grease in there as well in the parchment paper. If you want to use that for other cooking, that is also a good way to do it. And satisfied with the doneness of the bacon, went ahead and just took it out. And we put it onto a paper towel. And again, because we do not like all the grease, we like to blot our bacon with the paper towel to get less grease on it. After the three minutes in the microwave, you can kind of see what happens. It's a little different cooking in the microwave because not all the baking gets done at the same time in the same places. You can see the middle there is not as done as the outside. So to remedy that, I took it out and I removed the middle bacons to the outside to get them more, more done and put the inside bacons to the middle. And then I added some more time. Now this one you got to be careful because you can easily do too much or too little. So that was another 30 seconds right there of cooking time for the microwave bacon. And if you look, you can see now that the outside is kind of done as well. So they're all about the same doneness. So I, because the outside cooks faster, I moved them all to the outside out of the grease and set it for another 30 seconds to get it done to, I guess, where we think the uh, microwave bacon would be into a good doneness, a good likeness of what we wanted. So now those are all patted up and we're going to taste them blindly to see which one we all right, so first we're going to try the bacon cooked with method A. All right, dude.
Crunchy, flavorful. It's a really good bacon. Can't say anything bad about it. Not even greasy. The bacon was a good mix of crunchy and chewy. And my piece had a lot of fat though. So I didn't like that texture as much. Tasted kind of different. Like my dad said, there really isn't much grease, but for some reason, I taste it like the grease is there. Sort of like when you have the greasy bacon, you don't take the grease off. That's sort of like the flavor I'm getting from it. Oh, that do taste salt, too. It's the fat. Okay, try one from Plate B. Everyone likes. Well, I mean, the A is not nearly as crunchy, it's more chewy, and you can sort of feel a little grease in there, but you don't get as much of that grease flavor, so that's what I think. My piece was all crunchy and no chewy, so, um, I don't know, the flavor was, there was kind of like an underlying kind of grease mixed with a bit of burnt or something. So I didn't like that as much. Okay, mine was still crispy. Um, still very similar. I think I changed a slightly more fatty part of the piece in that one. Uh, but it's still very good. It was good bacon. I would, could go for either one, I think. Not much complaints about either one. All right, let's try the last one. Oh. I don't think he's going to eat one. <laughs> Alright, for the third one, a little more chewy, maybe could have been, I don't know if you cook it a little more or not, a little chewy. Uh, it reminds me of the bacon in a restaurant when it's still, it wasn't greasy, but it was still like that greasy and the soft texture of some bacon, uh, restaurant bacon that I've had before. The third one, the third one was chewy, but it had better flavor than the first two ones. I didn't really taste any of that grease or that tiny bit of burntness. Yay. I really disagree from Leah because I feel like this one is very chewy and it has like no flavor. It's like I'm chewing air or something. Or maybe it's just me because I feel like I focus on the chewing the bacon so much that I really don't taste anything. Alright, so now it's time for us to vote. What if it's a three-way split? Then the Mommy comes in. It's gonna be oh, split. <laughs> we may need a tiebreaker for this one. NGL. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a three way tie with one of three judges. Each picked an A and a B and a C. They're all equally as good, just depending on what you like. Do you like chewy, or crispy? and hard. Happy Healthy Wife Chef, Barry, you reminding you to click on that like button or leave a comment down below. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.